So here we are at our first garage sale of the morning. It's uh, June 13th, 2015. The very first sale, we've got uh, a lot of interesting items. The uh, swamp cooler has a, has a bottom problem to the bottom pan, so we're not going to go with the swamp cooler. The generator is a little too pricey, but it's a nice one. A lot, of, a lot of sales today, so this video is going to be a little longer than I thought it would be. But uh, a lot of, there was a lot of nice things out there today. and when on, a, on a nice sunny day like this, it's good to be out there and get the morning sun. And uh, this sale here, I did pick, a, pick up a couple of nice items. I picked up a big Indian, a store Indian st wood statue. I already put it in the truck. I'll show it to you later. I picked up all those uh, games those Xbox games and I picked up the uh, wooden the wooden eagle was nice and also that um, metal artwork but there's the store uh, Indian wooden store carving that was a nice so they picked up a few nice items there at that sale here's the next one the next it's always the next this is the second sale but you know it seems like it's always the first and second sale you get the good stuff so the early bird gets the worm And it's a good idea that if you go garage sale hunting all the time or estate sale hunting, you should videotape the stuff that you buy and actually get the people who sell it to you to, you know, put it on put it on tape how much you're paying for it because in this day and age with the the government intruding into our business, it's good to have a videotape of the stuff you buy. This sale here has a lot of furniture and uh, I picked up one interesting thing here, a couple interesting things here. The guy told me that uh, a professional golfer, these I picked up these here, the jacket and the military pants, but the guy who, who and I also picked up this Coleman cooler, but um, I picked up a putter there from 1945. He claims the guy who, 1946, he claims the guy who, won the 1946 Masters. I think his name was Herman Kaiser. He won the 1946 Masters with this putter that I bought, picked up there, an old putter. I mean, I, you know, sometimes you, there's no provenance with it. You can't believe half the stuff you hear. But I, this is the third or fourth sale, and when I picked up this security door, it was only $7, so I couldn't go wrong with the security door. I had to pick it up. That's a good price. Uh, those security doors cost a hundred hundred dollars. So when you can pick those up for seven, you go ahead and do them. Put it in the backyard. Maybe later you need it. Who knows? So this is um. So the only thing I bought at this sale was the security door. And then we're off to the next sale. Some nice lamps. A lot of shoes, huh? Imelda Marcos style. <laughs> Imelda Marcos. I don't know if anybody even remembers her. This uh, this sale here had a... Okay, that cooler. I picked up that German cooler. So we're off to the next sale. Got some. I picked up these uh, silverware, or I picked up the flatware at this sale. I think that's the only thing I picked up at this sale. It was in a nice neighborhood, but sometimes in the nice neighborhoods, people clean them out early. There's a, you know, in big cities, people know the good neighborhoods, and sometimes you get there about ten minutes late, it's all gone. But I did pick up the flatware. That was nice. This is an, uh, a lot of. A little bit here, a little bit there. It is true when you're talking big cities and you're talking garage sales, estate sales in big cities, the neighborhood you go to, it's very critical. It's almost like playing poker, uh, table selection, you know, playing in the best games, table selection. Well, in, in the big cities, you got to go to the, the better neighborhoods and and you'll, you'll have a lot more luck if you stay away from the bad neighborhoods. Duh. Okay. So we're moving right along. This was uh, 
nice weather today. It was a, it was 103 degrees out, 103 degrees, but it's a it's a dry heat, and a lot of heat, a lot of a lot of sales going on. I did like this item here. I did like this Indian sort of like an Indian folk art thing, but the owners were really really impressed with it. I mean, they thought it was like, I think they they priced it out at sixty dollars or something, sixty bucks. There it is, and it wasn't it was not that good. But you know when people buy their artwork at a gallery and they pay big bucks for it, they, you know, they they should keep. That's the thing about artwork. When you buy artwork, make sure you always buy artwork that you like, because you may be just stuck with it. That's the problem with artwork. Sometimes you cannot flip it, and so they always tell you about art. Make sure you buy something you like, because you may be stuck with it, meaning nobody else will buy it from you. That was interesting. This sale had a few antiques, but the prices uh, weren't that good, so I passed on most of these things. McCoy, the two vases on the left there, the, yeah, those are McCoy vases. And it's amazing, after the banking collapse, the banking collapse of 08, 09, collectibles just dropped out, just dropped, I mean, it just dropped down tremendously. It's amazing when you have a banking collapse and people are, struggling to get food you know collectibles and antiques well that's the secondary you put that on the secondary burner the secondary burner so i didn't buy no antiques but here's a nice thing this is the yakima luggage carrier i think it was eight foot long and they want 200 bucks for that they, they retail for about 300 dollars they're they're nice but at a garage sale you know it's going to be tough unless somebody really really wants it paying $200 for an item they can get brand new for $300, you know, it, it doesn't work that way. But then again, it depends. You might, somebody might come up and say, hey, I need that. And they feel like $200 is a deal compared to buying it new for $300. Okay, on to the next sale. And this table was a very nice deal. They only wanted $10 for that metal table. That was a real good deal. And here, uh, my eye was on that rocker the, the baby rocker it was a handmade over to the top you'll see it a little later uh, apparently the guy who was selling this his brother made it for him 32 years ago for his daughter his daughter is 32 years old today and um, 32 years ago his brother built this for him hand built it and uh, for his daughter and uh, boy it was really well made I, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't pick this up but I just didn't have the space for it it locks in place when it the pegs in it locks and when you pull it out it rocks this was a handmade item and he only wanted twenty dollars for it I mean that was a great deal I just didn't have the room for it wood I and the thing about it in the southwest desert you gotta be careful with wood wood items they, they crack easily you gotta keep them oiled so when you're picking in the Las Vegas desert you gotta be extra careful buying wood items but here's one thing uh, you don't have to be too careful about, and that's solar panels. You can always use a solar panel. This solar panel you take camping, and it can run a TV or a light or something. So I picked this big solar panel up for $10, and I was glad to have it. They probably retail for $1, $150. So I got the solar panel. At that, Now we're off to the next sale. These, uh, these were Lazy Boy chairs. And they only wanted seventy dollars for two lazy boy chairs. Another great deal. But I uh, I didn't have the room and I didn't need the chairs, so I passed on the lazy boys. And this sign is a reproduction. But as you can see, what this is all about, all the neat things you can find out of garage sales, just really lots of great things out there. And I guess that's what I'm trying to uh the message I'm trying to get across is Get out there on Saturday morning, get a little fresh air, get a little sunshine, and you would never you'd never believe what you could find at a very reasonable price. And I do remember these bread boxes. I all, and every time I see a cool bread, bo bread box, i got to open it up. But they're not really good sellers in the, out here. Now the, the Coleman stove, that's one of the better the, one of the better vintage ones. That's, that's a good one. And you got that brass uh, tank there you know you pick those up those that's a good that's a good vintage Coleman stove you got to get that one those are the better ones 
golf clubs were starters, starter set we passed on the golf clubs. Yeah, a lot of, like I said, a lot of good sale. When the weather gets good and the weather's hot, lots and lots of sales out there. And as your old man used to say, you got to get it while the getting's good. Yeah. Get it while the getting's good. Now, we talked about the, the, the 08, 09 banking collapse. Steins, you can forget about those Steins. I mean, you can't even get a dollar for them. People, the collectibles market has collapsed. That watch was a reproduction. And there's a deep cell battery. They were selling a deep cell battery for $40. Prints, lots of clothing, lots of clothing. I buy, uh, I like that dress there. That blue dress, blue brown dress, that was a nice one. Uh, the ladies would like it, but I think she wanted a little too much for that too. Now here's a chair that caught my eye. One of these little, this is a swivel. The chair swiveled around, and this was a really nice chair. It was only 15 yeah, $15.00. This was a good deal on the swivel chair. Rattan, Rattan swivel chair. So, remember, next Saturday, get up early and head out there and hit the sales. Now, here's the thing about rocking chairs. This this bent wood, bent wood rocking chair. Back east, this sucker might go for two hundred dollars. Back east or in Florida, you're talking Phoenix. Las Vegas, the desert cities, you cannot give away a rocking chair. And that brings us to the point where every city is a little different in stuff to buy. Now, I did pick up that um, Jimi Hendrix poster there. I like that Jimi Hendrix poster. I picked it up. Now we're getting towards the end of the sales, the end of the, the, end of the sales and this, um, towards the last part of the day. I picked that poster up. So onward we go. A lot of costume jewelry at this sale. And let's have an overview. We're having an overview of things I picked up. I picked this uh, Indian store wood carving up. He's about three foot tall. Picked up that um, beer cooler, which I thought was interesting. And the uh, welding, the welding hood. Picked up the welding hood. And this bridge, this metal bridge I'm about ready to show you, it's a, uh, a C. Jerry reproduction. You know, the old 1960s uh, Jerry uh, metal artwork, they're, they're still reproducing it today. And it's, it's a good reproduction. And I picked it up because it was cheap enough. I like, I love Coleman, Coleman um, coolers. Any nice cooler, I pick them up. But there's that bridge again. It's a reproduction bridge of a C. Jerry uh, piece from the 1960s. Nice, huge tequila belt buckle. And these are the kind of things you try to pick up for a dollar. Little belt buckles, you pick them up for a dollar. Maybe they're worth $10. But hey, it all adds up. Now, here was one of the picks of, pick of the litters today. I got it. Well, I showed you the Jimi Hendrix poster. I saw that earlier. But this one I didn't get on camera. It's a, a Braun Niso Super 8 movie camera. Also picked up the uh, leather jacket and the but here it is again, the Braun Niso Super 8 movie camera. This is the pick of the litter. And I love it when it comes with the uh, the instruction book. When the instruction book is there, God bless America, leather. So all in all, it was a good day. Thanks for joining me.